Hey guys, it's Cooters, and today we're going to be looking at two items that were released by GGG for 3.2.0. Let's get into them and check them out. So the first one we have is Sockle Walls Wins. They are soldier gloves, unique soldier gloves, armor energy shield base. Uh, they give you a little bit extra armor energy shield, 42 life, not too great there. 24% the cold and lightning resistance, resistances, so that's decent on the resistance department. 0.49 seconds to Avian's mic duration, we'll read that below after it. And then you get adds, you know, 20, 37 cold damage, so a decent amount of cold damage while you have Avian's might. And you also get 2 to 59 lightning damage while you have Avian's might as well, which is a pretty good range, uh, I think with the Abyss Tools at about like maybe a tier 2 or so. And uh, Aspect of Avian says, like Aspect of the Cat, alternates between two buffs granted to the user, but in this case shown above, or sorry, in this case, both have the same duration of four seconds. The Avian's Might buff grants you and your minions a chance to deal double damage with hits. So I was thinking about this and double damage with hits does sound really good, but it's pretty much a critical strike uh, with, you know, low multi. So, um, I mean, I don't know. It really depends on what that chance is, because I was thinking, you know, if you could pair it with anything, I guess you'd probably want to pair it with over um, uh, Elemental Overload on PoE would be pretty decent. What Elemental Overload does is says 40% more elemental damage if you crit in the past eight seconds. No critical, no critical strike multiplier. You look at this thing. So the thing about this skill is double damage isn't a crit. So, or rather, it isn't a crit multi. Uh, it's not using your crit multi. So if you had a high amount of crit. You can do elemental overload and you can still kind of do extra damage like double damage with hits so that'd be a little interesting to tie those together i don't know if, if that's how it's going to be used but it's something to look into anything where you lose crit multi um since it's not actually a crit you know effect it's just double damage maybe we can tie it into elemental overload i think that's kind of cool uh and, and especially it does cold damage and lightning damage uh to, to attacks or not attacks but just in general attacks and spells so that's pretty cool uh the next one i'm more excited about is called venomous shroud um it's a widow silk robe unique uh robe so it's energy shield base it gives you a little bit of intelligence um we're not too sure what the ranges are but you know you know a little bit of energy shield nothing too crazy a decent amount i guess a bunch of energy shield regeneration per second which is great because uh that's usually pretty hard to get and energy shield is kind of known for having that fast recharge so that's really cool uh enemies affected by your spider's web deal 10% reduced damage. Enemies affected by your spider's webs have minus 10% to all resistances. Then 51% increased aspect of the spider area of effect. So what aspect of the spider does, sorry. It says, it, uh, aspect of the spider doesn't affect the user, but inflicts the spider's web debuff on nearby enemies every second while it's active. It also hinders those enemies. Spider webs increase, or spider's webs increase, increases damage taken and can be applied up to three times on each enemy. It has a base duration of six seconds. So it's kind of like a give and take here. Um, your spider webs increases the damage taken uh, of the enemies. Actually, let me think about this again. Outside does increases damage taken. So I guess the spiders affects the enemies. So yeah, that's crazy. So enemy uh, spider webs, you basically do more damage to the enemy, I believe, because it's affecting the enemy. But then on top of that, with the Phenomus' Shroud, you also reduce the damage of the enemy and then uh, that's affecting, as well as lowering the resistances. And the thing is, it says it stacks up to three times, I believe it said. It can be applied up to three times on each enemy. So does that mean, I don't know how much extra damage you're doing, but you're doing three times extra damage. And then I'm assuming if these stack, you all, the enemies now do 30% reduced damage and minus 30% to all resists. I don't know if that's how it works, but if it does work that way, that's pretty crazy. I don't think it's going to stack like that, however. Um, but I don't know, maybe maybe the armor only gives it the set 10% re reduced damage and minus 10% to all resist. And then the damage that they take is is wrapped up three times or rank up three times. I'm not too sure. Or maybe it just lasts longer with the debuffs. Or I don't, I don't really know. I, I don't know, but I think if it stacks... This is going to be a crazy armor for sure. Looking at Elemental Weakness, this is a curse that you can, you know, obviously put um, on like Orb of Storms or Blasphemy or whatever. And at level uh, level one, it does minus 20% Elemental Resist. So it's already better than one stack, we'll say, uh, if, you know, it can stack. But once you get to minus tw uh, negative 20%, that's, you know, you're basically running a level one Elemental Resist or Weakness. And if you can get up to 30, that's like a level 11 Elemental Weakness uh, with your spider webs or whatever. So that's that's pretty significant i feel 
Um, since it's kind of like adding a six link uh, without actually, you know, it's like a pseudo seven link, I guess you'd say, because you get the extra um, resistance debuff. And also you get the uh, damage uh, debuff as well, which is kind of like taunt. Taunt, what that does is uh, enemies that are taunted deal 10% less damage to targets um, that they aren't, that aren't the source of the taunt. Now, I guess it's not exactly the same as this, you know, it's reduced damage, so it's a little bit, it's a multiplier versus an additive, so, uh, at this point, you know, reduced damage is not going to be as good, but it's still something to think about, um, you know, it's, it's kind of like a taunt, but you don't actually have to have a taunt, um, affected, you don't have to have, like, a decoy totem, but if you were to put decoy totem down, with this and if it were to stack that's a lot of reduction for damage and pretty good to have you know a negative resistances on top of that so i think we're looking at you know maybe like a pseudo seven link on this widow silk robe it's pretty crazy uh, i think this is something definitely to look out for in the upcoming patch for 3.2.0 uh, if you guys agree with me or you think there's something I missed here or you think there's going to be some cool combo with the Venomous' Shroud or maybe even Sokka Wall's wins, let me know in the comments below. Uh, as always, guys, follow the channel, you know, like the video, sub, whatever. Leave a comment, you don't have to, but do remember to do big, do good, and do you. And I'll see you guys in the next video.